on today's episode, our guest is Micah. Micah is a self-advocate and national speaker who fights for disability pride, justice, and inclusion. He was featured in a documentary, Intelligent Lives, about three young American adults with intellectual disabilities. He was a keynote speaker at the 2019 Self-Determination Conference. Welcome to the Self-Determination Channel, Micah. Thanks for being here. What have you been up to since we saw you at the Self-Determination Conference? I've been speaking around the country for some of the time. I'm happy to teach people about how to be a better self-advocate. And then I was visiting my family, trying to keep healthy and safe. Yeah, me and Ashley has been also learning to do things differently since the COVID virus. Thank you and welcome. So Micah, I hear you are writing a book. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. I'm writing a book. It's almost done and it's a book about what I have been doing and how to be a self-advocate and how I have been a self-advocate and it's a great like learning experience. It'll be a good book when it comes out. How did you become an advocate? I think from meeting other self-advocates and being on boards and learning from my family and learning from other advocates. I became an advocate by actually, I started these Jumpstart classes, which are classes for people with disabilities. And then I just started to learn how to talk more. And actually, I went to the Disability Advocacy Day and I found out, you know what my curse is? Is I couldn't stop talking. (laughs) How I started being an advocate, I started actually leadership through Special Olympics as a global messenger and moved into people first. So advocacy is good. I love it. Do you love it, Micah? Do you love being an advocate? Yeah, I do. What is your favorite part of advocating? I think my favorite part of advocating is just teaching people about advocacy and learning new ways how to be advocate. Do you also think people with intellectual disabilities have a voice when they advocate for themselves? Yeah, if, if they have a good group of friends and people that are helping them, yeah. How do you think you're life is now and then how your life was before you got into advocacy. I think it just has got better of knowing how to meet other advocates and learning new things about advocacy. So what do you want other advocates to know about um, being a self-advocate? What's the most important thing about being a self-advocate? I think just knowing how to advocate and knowing that sometimes it takes time and some Sometimes you just have to wait for things and you have to learn about how to be a good advocate and how to have good people around you that will help you. Have you ever been discriminated against and how did you handle it? I won a federal lawsuit in 2010 for trying to live in the dorm. While attending college, Micah applied to move into a dorm. He was told he could not move in because of university policy. He fought the ruling in court and won. Did you get to live in the dorm, Dan? I did, yeah. What was that like, living in a dorm? It was fun. It was cool and fun. Did you guys do any partying in the dorm? No, not me. Okay, not you. Okay, sounds good. What was you studying? I was studying government and public speaking. When somebody tells you that you can't do something, what do you do? How do you handle it? I just tell them that I can do it and it might take me a little bit, but I, uh, but I can do it. I have been asked this question a lot. How capable am I? You know, how capable do you think you are? as a person with an intellectual disability. I think I'm very capable. Mm -hmm. What do you think for yourself? I think I'm very capable of doing things that I uh, want to do, yeah. Sounds good. What do you wish that people without disabilities knew about people with disabilities? I think just having them learn about how people with disabilities can 
be able to like do things and like I know we won't be able to do everything, but just knowing that we're able to do a lot of things, we are very similar to everyone else. Amy, I said that earlier. Love that, Micah. What advice would you give to someone who wants to persuade their parents to let them move out? I think it takes time and knowing that you have a good circle and a good group of friends that will help you. Good answer. So you live in your own apartment? Yeah, I have a roommate. So you and a roommate get along good and figuring out things? Yeah, we do. Whereabouts do you live? I live in Syracuse, New York. It's like five hours from the city. Micah, you know that I'm quite the dancer, so I want to know what is your favorite dance move? I don't have a favorite dance move, but what I um, do like to dance. My favorite dance move is picking up multiple people and swirling them around. Mm -hmm. I will literally grab everyone. So what's your favorite movie? Groundhog Day. What's your favorite snack? I like watermelon. Favorite beverage? Seltzer water. What is your favorite thing to do? Work out with my trainer and see friends and have a fun time. Do you have any favorite sports? I like hockey, basketball, and football. So, Micah, do you want to attend the Self-Determination Conference this year? Yeah, yeah. Um, send me an email of it and I will share it on Facebook. Oh, good. Thank you. Last question. Is there anything you'd like to say to self-advocates watching today? Just know that you have a voice and know that you have people that will support you and help you and know that you'll get through it and you'll get help and you will learn a lot from other advocates. Excellent. Thank you for being on the self-determination tip. You're welcome. Let's do this again, okay? Yeah, I'll be happy to uh, do it again, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe.